afternoon everyone um, well it will be afternoon by the time you watch this um, it's Wednesday the 14th of February Valentine's Day and we're out doing the first pressure wash of the year so that's good for the driveway and slabs to do a uh, gentleman contacted me last week he's a property developer and he's looking to get properties uh, pressure washed um, when he goes to sell them off so he's, he's currently got this house up for sale but he just wants it pressure washed, uh, the driveway and the slabbed area. Um, so, good wee day's work. As I say, February, pressure washing season, kind of starting back up. Uh, so, quite happy to get it done, uh, help the guy out and hopefully I'll get more work from him. So, I'll just let you see what we're doing today. So, it's this slabbed area. Full of weeds. Yeah, so, we've got that to do. Full of white lichen. Get this area to do here, small slabbed area. <coughs> and then this driveway. As I say, absolutely full of weeds. The guy's got it up for sale at the minute, so it's just a, a clean. Get it on the market. Well, he's already got it on the market, but it'll help it sell quicker. People come to see it, so. But, Good wee job, good wee start to the year for pressure washing, so we'll get set up. I've got the surface cleaner back out. First time it's been in the van this year. Right, tanks filling up nicely. Float valves in action. The water pressure at this house is unbelievable. As I say, 50 metres of hose back in the van. I took this out during the winter when we were doing gutters. But 50 metre hose reel and the old faithful pressure washer that's not let me down yet. So yeah, I'm, in, I'm in the process of looking at a new van at the minute, so yeah, I'm going to get a bigger van, Transit or a Vivaro, I'm not too sure, but that's my next investment. As I say, pressure washer's still, still doing the job, so I'm not going to upgrade it just yet. My, my concentration's on getting a bigger van, it's going to help me so much better. And this just got an MOT, so it's got another year's MOT on it, past no problem. Uh, but I need a bigger van because I'm going to be offering more services uh, this year, so I need two vans on the road. But we're, we're good to go, so I'm just going to get set up, get ready to crack on with us. I'm going to start for the back, but we're way out. Alright. So we're
so that's us done all the cutting in. You can see, we're cutting in all the lines. It's just easier for the surface cleaner because the surface cleaner won't remove the moss, eh, sorry, the weeds in between the grooves. I say it's quite, it's quite well sand and cement mixture, so it's uh, solid, it's all solid. So you've got these bits here, which is just dirt. So you can't really do anything with that. You don't want to pressure wash it because you just blast the dirt everywhere, everywhere. So the best thing you can do is just pull the weeds out. Uh, as you can see, the weeds just all pop out. If you start putting pressure in it, you'll blast all the dirt out of it and it'll just make it a mess. So, done that. Got to get the surface cleaner on it, get it cleaned. Done all the cutting in down here as well. You can see, it just makes an easier job for the surface cleaner. You can see here, this is what happens when you go too fast with a turbo nozzle. So you need to go nice and slow because it etches, the, it makes these swirls in the ground. It's not going to make a difference, it won't damage it, but as I say, the surface cleaner will take care of it, but that's why you need to go at a slower pace when you're doing it. I've just done that to show you what happens. Uh, it's really important that you go at a nice steady pace, because you end up leaving the marks in it, and, the, and when it dries you won't see it, and then it'll, it'll be in it once it's dry and you'll notice it, so you always just take your time with it if you can. Uh, so we're going to get the surface cleaner on, get this done, <coughs> get some chemical down on it, and then we're going to start the driveway. So, good wee day, we're getting there. Well everyone, we just just had a massive scare there, uh, after me saying this morning that my machine doesn't let me down, we were in the middle of the job and it kept kept cutting out every time I started it, it would run for like maybe 30 seconds and then cut out, so we were kind of panicking, we checked it all, we opened up the dipstick, checked the oil and it had literally maybe 100 ml of oil in the, the system, so it just shows you should always be checking these things as you never know, I've been running it pretty hard the last few weeks with roof cleans so it's been going like 8 hours constant for a while it's obviously just burnt all the oil away so I had to put a full litre of oil in it there but luckily it's got an emergency cut off we don't know damage the engine so we got away with it but it's always good to check these things because I've not checked that I've, I've not put oil in that machine for like 7 months so that was from the day I got it maybe 8 months and I just checked it there, but I checked it last week and it was fine. I checked it there and it was completely empty, so we got we got lucky, but it's running fine now. Right guys, that's the clean done, surface cleaner. So we just need to give it a good rinse though. These stones here, it's like a, the, the runoff was going right into them. It's, it's just the way the angle of the, the slope now. So we've put a tarp down to try and catch most of the, the mess. We'll just need to give it a good clean up when we're done. But as I say, you can't really notice it with slabs. Slabs are never the greatest to show cleaning, but as you see, they're, they're clean. We just need to rinse them now. We've opted against chemical. We were going to do chemical today, but I've spoke to the neighbour. And uh, he's got pets and stuff. And uh, as I say, there's nobody living at this property at the minute. So we've dogs in and out. So we're going to just go against the chemical treatment. I've spoke to the homeowner. He's happy to just, just go without, as I say. 
a lesser price for them as well if I don't put any chemical down so uh, it's not ideal but as I say it needs must so we'll get that done need to get this rinsed off once we're done give this all a rinse and then we'll start the drive my labourer is outside now he's lifting most of the weeds as he can just saves you a job with the nozzle you can see he's pulled all this up But this will come up lovely once we're done. So I'm going to get the twin lands connected, get this all rinsed, and then move on to the monoblock. I see. The great thing about these twin lances is you can adjust the pressure. So you put your nozzle here. So I always just go with my 40 degree nozzle there. And that's a, I don't even know what that is, what nozzle that is. I bought it for Rutland pumps. Uh, I've got it in my emails but I can't remember but what that does is when you turn the when you turn the clamp, when you turn the wheel and the handle on it, it adjusts the pressure so that see if you're in a corner and you're spraying it in the corner you can turn the pressure right down on the land so the water's not spraying everywhere in your eyes or if you need to rinse down plants and stuff for chemical. So it's a great great bit of cat I bought it for Rutland pumps last year. I think it was £60. So brilliant, brilliant bit of kit. We'll get set up. And start rinsing just now. That's the slabs all done. Slabs are washed. Um, we're just about to start the drive now. As I say, you never tell with slabs. They, they never. I prefer to see slabs when they dry. When they're dry, they seem to look a lot better. But when they're wet, you never. You don't really notice the difference on them. You can see it, but it's no. It's not a massive difference compared to when they dry right out. And you can see that all the dots came off them. But I'll let you see where we are. So you can see all the weeds are gone from being between the grooves. Still a wee bit of rinsing we need to do here. There's really bad pulling up in this corner. So, 
Uh, you can see here, this is all pulling. So that's just marks in the tile, uh, the concrete. So that doesn't come off, I don't know what that's been. Uh, oh, it's a massive difference. Uh, it's been so we're going to make a start with the, the monoblock now. Get that done. Can I run it behind here? Because I had to shoot away, grab oil, mess about with my machine, my machine for a while. So I'm just going to make a start with the, the monoblock.
guys. That's the clean done. Just need to get it all rinsed. You can see, a lot of pulling. Awful lot of pulling, but it's clean. So, we we'll start getting it rinsed down now. Start to clean up. A bit of the neighbour's driveway there, as you can see. We need to clean all that down. But, good job, look at the colour of my van. That all needs rinsed down. So, we'll get set up and get started with the rinse. Hey, I bought a new turbo nozzle. So, I bought a new turbo nozzle yesterday. Uh, a PA one. Uh, from Rutland Pumps. PTFE tape in the joint. Which I never done the last time. <laughs> but they're amazing. They're amazing. Sometimes they get blocked, but you just get them a wee tap and it usually falls out. But amazing, honestly. They are so good. Make light work, so it was £58 from Rutland Pumps, that's with delivery and VAT and stuff. Yeah. So that's me get three of them now, so... It's good to always have them, because you never know what could happen, so... I'd always advise you to have like two or three in your van. We're going to set up, get rinsed down, let you see at the end. Guys, that's us done. A lot of standing water on this driveway. As I say, I've been brushing it for ages, but sometimes you've just got to walk away. You'll be there for hours. So, I'll show you the back slabs. As I say, slabs are really underwhelming. You can't really tell what they look like until they're dry. 
but it's all done. Uh, all clear. No issues, which is good. See here, no issues. Just went really well. And then the driveway, again, look at the standing water. Just as your head in, I've, I've been brushing it and brushing it and brushing it and brushing it. It just keeps happening. So I'll give it one final brush before we get our before and after photos because it'll look a lot better. But I'm more than happy with that, guys. So, as I say, had a bit of a scare today with my, with my machine. So you always need to check it for oil. So that was my stupid fault, I could have had a, a, a real issue there. Luckily the machines have got a, a kill switch inside them that, that stops the machine from, from running, basically. So every time I was pulling the, the cord to start it, it would run for like 30 seconds and cut out, run for 30 seconds, cut out. So I checked everything, checked all my hoses, checked my carburetor, make sure there was fuel getting in. And then we noticed that I took the oil off and looked inside and it was basically bone dry. So you really need to, the machines are great, as I say, that Hyundai 4200 I've got. It's a great machine, as I say. See now that I've found parts for it. Honestly, it's an unbelievable machine. It's never let me down. As I say, most of, um, that machine could have seized up there and it never, a wee bit of oil in it, put a litre of oil in it and it's worked again. That's been an hour and a half it's been running. Uh, as I say, Amazing machine for £900, 15 litres a minute, can't grumble. So I'm going to keep using it now. As I say, my, my biggest concentration is to make sure I get a new van. New van's more important at the minute, so... Uh, I've got a new air filter coming for the, the machine tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so I'll get that put on it. And then that machine, that's basically everything replaced in that machine. Spark plugs, new exhaust, new air filters, new carburetor. So basically, a lot, a lot of stuff. The only things that haven't been replaced is the actual engine itself or the the pump, which are still working fine. But if you're ever looking for any parts for Hyundai machines, go to powerspares.co.uk and you'll get genuine parts for your machine. You just type in what machine it is, and it'll get, I'll give you them. So that is us for another video, guys. Hey, I've got a roof clean tomorrow and Friday. So you'll, you'll see this video on Friday, which will be Friday the 16th, it'll be out. And then I'll put the roof clean video out next week. So, hope you all have a good day. And if you could like and subscribe to the channel, it really does help me. Thanks, guys.